Hello and welcome from the Bud Festival on a very cozy ca- cozy bench with three people. <laughs> um, I'm here with Lee uh, Lee Dovey, Michael Daker, and Colin Arnold uh, from the Fallow Field. It's time. Well, it was a very interesting movie with an interesting story. Um, how did you come up with that? Um, I think probably did a little pre- bit of preparation in watching lots and lots of horror movies. Uh, and But the actual genesis of the idea came from a, a bad dream, which was slightly different. It was more to do with druids and paganism um, on a farm. And then I sort of tried to rework the script to something that we could actually afford to shoot, which was because it was done for a, quite a low budget. You, you have a shot the movie in only eight days. Yes. Um, I, I understand it has had a, a lot of prep- preparation in advance for that. Yes. How did you...? Well, yeah, we, we had about uh, nine months pre-production and we got the crew together and said we're filming on this particular date in August. Uh, the key was the location, which we found in um, south, south of England in a place called Shear, just outside of Guildford, where my production company is. And we just... Um, took over the location and then filmed it all in eight days. All the crew camped and all the actors stayed in their beautiful bed and breakfast, so they couldn't complain. (laughs) He's driving. And do you remember the farm? One of the things about the location in uh, Shear is they've shot quite a lot of Hollywood films there like um, Bridget Jones's Diary, Four Weddings and a Funeral, and a film called The Holiday with like Cameron Diaz and Jude Law. And then we decided to bring in a horror film and just bury people there. So it's quite funny, like Hollywood's independence, but yeah, ours are better. It's a location for all purposes. Absolutely, (laughs) Well, I'm moving on to Michael Dacre, because I'm, I'm glad I'm sitting out next, next to you, because you can be a very, very scary man. He's partially sick, but I think he's also uh, a character who's in, ex- in extremes. He's, he's isolated. Um, I think he's very lonely, and I think that comes through, and I think that's what makes him interesting to play. He maybe has a, a sick side to him in some ways, but he's also he's just a human being, you know? And uh, Lee's very cleverly written dialogue and written a character which ha- does have this strong double edge. And again, for me, and I am from the country I- in the UK, I like the edginess of the script in terms of city and country. Um, I'm not sort of saying that all the people who, uh, who, who, who run into trouble with Callum from the, from the city deserve what they get, but maybe they do. <laughs> um. Lee, well, it's, it's your first feature-length film that has now officially aired. Um, are there any things that you want to do in the future? Or things you want yes, to... Yes, yes, I'd like to make another one. That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> um, ironically, I have not been behind the camera since. Um, it's still sort of difficult to, as everyone knows, to finance a, a, an independent film. Um, the writing's taken off, that's good. So I've got um, three films that are being made next year. Um, by the directors. So I've got two, two science fiction features um, and a horror, because I love horror. So I want to carry on working in horror and I'd like to make another horror. That's def- definitely, I just, it's really whetted my appetite. I, I, I mean, it was all, everyone agrees it was hard work, but it was also a really good experience. We all stay in contact socially. We all sort of talk about ideas. We all would like to work together again. So, you know, it was a really good experience. Me. Do you remember me? You always remember it. I think that's a pretty good movie. I do think it's a terrific, terrific film. Not that I was in it or anything. <laughs> Not biased or anything. <laughs>